Amen, amen. So we got to do the offering today. And before we go to the Bible verse that we have for today, and I want to explain something that had to do with the, with the Bible verse. So uh, we are living right now in a, in a difficult time. So we know so this pandemic is, uh, we, we, you might know a lot of people that they lost their jobs, and they had no income, their family is suffering, or they lost their loved ones. But it, it is a Bible verse that King David says many years ago that we can use from like in 30 years when all this is done and all the books are written and all this story about the COVID, we can say the same thing like David says. And I'm going to read it for you. It's in Psalm 37, verse uh, 25. He says something powerful. Psalm 37, verse 25. He says, I was young. Now I'm old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaking or their children begging bread. And the verse uh, 26 says, they, they are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. So what King David says about this specific Psalm 37, 25, he says, listen, I've been as a kid almost 40 years. I was young one time, now I'm old, but I never see, I never see the righteous forsaking or their children begging bread. And like I said in the beginning, we are in a difficult time, but God always provides for us, always. Even in this, in the middle of the pandemic, God always been provide for us. Yes, amen? amen. He always been there for us. Even though we see everything around, that it's not good. Like I said, we lost a lot of people, a lot of, lot of loved ones. But David says, I never seen since I've been a young guy and I, now I'm old. I never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Does that mean? God always faithful. And then when he say they pass to the children, they are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. So that means our children is not going to be begging bread either. They're just going to go pass through. That's a blessing. And today, we're going to give the Lord our tithes and offering because we know what the Bible says we're not begging bread our children not going to begging bread because God always going to be there for them it's going to pass through my children to the, my, the children of my children they're not going to begging bread even though the situation is going to be whatever it is the bank of heaven never is broke always got supply for the children so let's go pray today father god we give you 10 father god because your word says father god that you never seen the righteous forsaken or the children begging bread father yeah. god father thank you for this word father god because not even us, our children, the children or our children, never going to beg him bread, Father God, because you're going to take care of them, Father God. Thank you because you are our provider, Father God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen, amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Jackie's, you just like it because it's quick. You can put it right there. You guys are quick. I think you can put it right here. Yeah, I think you should be good. It shouldn't weigh too much to mess up anything. I think you're good. If not, we'll figure it out in a bit. All right. Okay. God bless you, Zoa. So
God bless you. Amen. Dios me lo bendiga todo. Um, tu Spanish. You can do English. Oh, English. Everybody, there okay. English. everybody English. Okay, yeah, everybody amen. English. I want to thank God for, for the opportunity one more time that he has given me to bring his word. And I want to bring the word. It's in Proverbs. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but probably yeah. 24, 16. And in the name of Jesus, amen. It says, for the righteousness men may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall. And my title today is Stand Up. Why, why did I bring this um, title, Stand Up? Because God has um, been giving me la inquietud, that, feeling. that feeling to bring this word. And he knows with what purpose, right? It's a small little reflection that I'm going to bring today. And I want to ask a question to all of you and to um, the ones who are in here with us in church. How many times we have fall? A lot. A lot. There's not a number. Right? I stopped counting. Right? <laughs> We've been falling a lot. Physical, we. I'm one that physical, I'm always in the floor, so that's nothing new. But we're going to talk in that fall of especially, especially, you know, how many times we have fallen. But in Proverbs, it tells us that the righteousness man fall seven times, but he will rise up or stand up. God is here watching you, knowing what you're doing and knowing that, like I say, and I have said before, we're not perfect. We always will make our mistake. But the important thing here that God's watching us and he is willing to forgive us. It is possible that at some point of our life, we get like we, 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 get, we regret what we did. But the important thing of this regret is to recognize that God is with us and that he is willing to forgive us. It says it. We could fall seven times, but we stand up, we go to God, and we ask him to forgive us. Somebody. To forgive, to forgive us. Amen. In this world, we have sin, and we sin in different ways. But what God really wants us to recognize that we have sin, that we have fallen, that we don't stay back and say, "Oh, I made a mistake. I I sinned, and I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here because." I don't want God to see me. Hey, God knows every step of us. God knows everything. So if for more that we try to hide, we cannot hide because God is with us and watching us. So in this time of need, in this situation that you have fallen, that you have fallen from the presence of God, that doesn't mean you have to forget that God is not there with you. You have to remember that he is with you. And he is waiting for you to recognize that you have fallen. That you are willing to give yourself to God. Mm. When it's time, and sometimes situations, like I said, we're not perfect. But. If we come and we surrender to God and we tell him with all our heart, God, forgive us. I have sinned. I have made a mistake. I have fallen, but I'm willing to stand up and do what you want. 
it's not easy, but it's not impossible. Amen. You have to be willing to do it. And God is there, like I said before, God is there waiting for you. Like it says, the righteousness man, for seven times he stands up. God wants to clean you of everything you have done. But you can't, you just can't sit and, okay, God, come and do what you have to do. No, you have to be willing to give your whole heart, open that heart and tell him everything. We can't hide nothing from God. No, we, can't. we can't because he knows everything. He even knows our thoughts, our talk, our, um, even when we're looking, he knows everything. So don't wait for God to come and say, hey, wait, um. God come and get no, you have to go and be humble. humble yourself to God because there's there's a willing, and this willing I had three willings for you. Are you willing to let God clean you? Are you willing to get to God restore you? Are you willing to God renew you? Are you are willing for that? If you are willing for that, then God comes into you in your heart and he transformed everything. Like I said, you could fall seven times, but God is there to pick you up and stand you up. Come you on. could fall any time, but is are you are you willing to do? the sacrifice that God wants you to do, to stand up and forget whatever happened in your past, whatever happened, you have yeah. to, you have to be willing because like I said, God, there's three ways you have to permit that God cleans you, restores you and renew you. Because if you don't let him in your heart, it's not going to happen. God has to restore you. I got two questions. How many times have you fallen and you're willing that God cleans you? Anybody could answer? Every time, every day. Right? Every day, every, every time. Day. Every day. But are you willing in this so in, in that time and every day that we fall? Are you willing that God could forgive you? Yes. Yeah. yes. So why, why do we sometimes hold back? We hold back to what God wants us to do. We hold back to his presence. We hold back for oh, what, his man. grace. We hold back for his blessing. Come we on. hold back because he hey. is here with us. We hold back because, okay, we feel ashamed. We feel regret. Yeah, but God is there to help us, to let us know that he is here to stand up, up, to be firm, to do what God wants. And it's time to don't, it's time not to look for your past. It's time to look for your present, that God is there, here, willing to give you what he wants to give you. But you have to be willing to receive what he wants. You have to be willing to receive God's presence. You have to be willing to God be with you in all moments and all time. Like he said, you fall. It doesn't matter that you fall down. What it matters is that you stand up hey, and you say, on. God, I am here. Yes. No matter what yep. situation I'm passing, no matter what happened in my past, no matter what I'm dealing with, you are here to stand me up and keep your path and do what you want. But like I said, you have to be willing to continue. You have to be willing to do what God wants you to do. Now, that doesn't mean that every time you're going to be falling down and taking it as a joke, like, oh, I fall down and Come I keep on, on walking. Okay. Oh, oh, don't worry. God got me. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. God loves you, but he also 
He's a good daddy that he likes to give those whippings to do suddenly. So you have to be wise when that is. You have to be wise to know what you want. Yeah. So now, like I say, it was something short, something quick, but you have to be willing that God restore you, clean you, and renew you. God bless you, and God bless you so much. You should pray for God. Mm -hmm. We got our apostle list to can't pray for you. I can't with y'all. <laughs> I can't with none of y'all. She said apostle. Y'all killing me. Thank you, Jesus. That was good. It was short and sweet, but it like stabbed me and left me bleeding. <laughs> I was like, thank God. I'm, you know, I really make effort every day. God bless you all. God bless you. Jada, it's just, it's nice to see you on. Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. I'm going to call you honey. Hi. God bless you. How are you? I'm Jada. Definitely nice to see you. I saw the screen just moved all over the place. There goes my baby in the back. My daughter, she's not yours. You just gave birth to her. That's all I take credit. Anything bad is you. Everything good is me. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Cecia, I mean, you were hitting it on the head there in the chat. It's true. And that was something that, that really hit me when Cecia in the chat actually said, the reason we don't stand up is because we don't forgive ourselves. Because yes. God can forgive us. Other people forgive us. And sometimes we feel like we're not worthy of that forgiveness. And we wind up holding, being the stumbling block to our own forgiveness in God. So I'm going to pray for that because, Ceci, that was just really key. I felt that that was of the Lord. Yaya, I'm glad to see you guys on here. So let's pray. Father, we come before you and we bless you. Look at every single one of us right now during this season, during a season where the enemy has tried to bring depression and hopelessness to all of us. He has tried to bring us down. He's made us feel like we're just worthless, that we've gone through so much and we're just down and out. Our bodies are truly worn, Father God. It's been months and months and almost a year of this pandemic, and it's been nonstop, just trials and tribulations. And now cities are shutting down and we're just refeeling everything. Many of us have, have gotten COVID. Many of us have been sick. Many of us have made it through. Most of us have made it through. Yes. And we're very blessed people. And we yes. thank you for that, Father God. Yes. Even through this trials and tribulations, many of us have sinned. I say us because I'm included in that, in our minds, in our heart, in our emotions, in the isolation, Father God, in the rejection, in the process. In this process, we have felt your hand protecting us, but we've also felt our emotions misleading us, misguiding us. And Father God, I ask you to just forgive us that every single one of us may come to you right now and we stand up and we repent and we ask you to clean us, clean us of everything that we've done and thought, thoughts of giving up, thoughts of just ending it up, thoughts of walking away, thoughts of just giving up because it's been just absolutely hard. I ask you to send angelic assistance to every single one of our homes right now, to Yaya's home, to Jada's home, to where Ceci is at in Puerto Rico, to Jamadi and her family, to every single one in the room, that's Kelsey, Heather, Ricardo, Pastor Jackie, Bebe, and Angel, and even other brothers and sisters, Dana had logged in, Father, that you just sent angelic assistance where every single person of New Wine and the Daughters Group, and even people who are in the home group, that right now you just sent angelic assistance with strength, that you minister to our worn bodies, that those areas of weakness, our knees, our ankles, our backs, areas that we're just totally exhausted. I ask you to just, you know, in our minds, in our emotions, when we have sinned, because every single one of us has fallen short of the glory of God, I ask you to clean us up. We stand up and we say, clean us up, Father God. Restore us in that restoration process, Father God. Let us forgive us for sinning against you. Father God, we cast out this spirit of shame that comes to keep us from being forgiven, that comes from keeping us from the true knowledge and revelation that you are our God. And that if seven times we fall, seven times you will pick us up and seven Seven times you will forgive us and seven times you will clean us up and seven times you will restore us and seven times you will renew us. You will continue to forgive us because you are the only one 
where we can get our forgiveness from. And I ask that our minds, our hearts, our emotions that are deceitfully wicked towards our, even our spirits, Father God, that it may not be a blockage to forgiveness. And right now we forgive ourselves for failing you. We forgive ourselves for falling short. We forgive ourselves for the sin of rebellion. We forgive ourselves for the sin of even rejection and things and fear, Father God, during this season. I ask you perfect love that you come over us. Your word says that perfect love casts out all fear. Father God, we forgive you for that. I mean, we ask you to forgive us. Forgive me. Forgive us for, for us fearing and not trusting you. You will cast out all fear right now in this hour from our lives. We will not be sick. We will not die. We will not just surrender to the enemy. We will not surrender to COVID. We will not surrender to any other sickness and disease. We cast out all infirmity out of our lives, out of our families, generational curses and things that have come to try to bring us fear during this season. We cast it out in the name of Jesus and your perfect love, your blood of the lamb just comes over the doorpost of every single one of our homes, every single one of our hearts, every single one of our minds and hearts. And you just do like a spiritual diet dialysis over our blood and you cleanse us right now because that's what you said you're cleaning us up and you're restoring us and you're healing us and you're restoring us to what you made us in the heavens to who we truly are and right now renew us renew a right spirit in us renew a right spirit in every single one of us right now we just thank you god for you are cleaning us up you are restoring us and you are renewing us and we ask all these things in jesus dear name Amen. 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 We love you all. Let me stop the recording. God bless you all.